a trace of snow early in the morning on Friday. And based on the direction those clouds are going, I'd say we have pretty much a cold north wind. And winter took a little longer to arrive this season than compared to last year. But here we are, winter is here. And snow lovers were on the mountain yesterday. Up to 17,000 people enjoyed some blower powder. And there's lots of tra traffic in town. That stormy weather pattern could be with us well in through mid-January. It is Friday, January 5th. 2024. It is bright out here as the cloudy skies have cleared and we had a trace of snow overnight and winter took a little longer to get here than last year but winter is here as it looks like we're in a stormy pattern all the way through at least mid-January and about 17,000 people enjoyed the slopes yesterday up on Mammoth Mountain and there was a lot of traffic in town as you could see by that time lapse on the roads near the village. Well, another storm is on its way. It's coming in on Friday, uh, Saturday. Today is Friday, January 5th, 2024. Hello everyone, I'm Dan McConnell. The sun is still coming up at about 7, 11 a.m. until the 13th of January. We start gaining time in the morning by then, but not until then, and it sets at 4.50. It was all, we've already gained, uh, we've already had our earliest sunset uh, so far this winter. Look for uh, mostly clearing skies today as a band of showers brushed by here earlier today, and uh, so mostly clear skies, but colder temperatures are still in the forecast. As the storm arrives on Saturday, another cold storm on its way, much like the one we just had the other day. It was 26 down at Mammoth Airport this morning. Barometric pressure, pressure up there at 30.26, calm winds down there. Uh, low was 15 at midnight last night, then those clouds moved in, then it actually warmed up a little bit. It was 32 degrees down in Bishop this morning after 54 on Thursday. Temps in town were in the mid 20s. It was 22 at the main lodge this morning with a light wind and pretty chilly at the top. Looks like uh, north winds, upslope winds that scoured the top yesterday. It was 13 degrees, so dress warm if you're headed up there. Um, strong winds uh, up at the top of Mammoth Mountain. Att temps today will be on the cool side. We'll get maybe to the mid 30s if that sun stays out. Lows in the mid 20s tonight again and near in the teens up on Mammoth Mountain. So dress accordingly if you're going up to the mountain today. Um, might want to have some yellow lenses handy if, the, if it gets cloudy, but it looks like it's going to clear off for most of the day as that storm will not be here until early on Saturday. Most of the uh, snow that we see will be from late Saturday afternoon into early Sunday. Another 12 to 18 inches are possible, and then that's a relatively fast-moving storm with about an 8 to 12-hour period of heavy snowfall again through early Sunday about 12 to 18 inches possible. Then a uh, weak storm comes through and a little bit of warm up next Tuesday, and then some colder storms are lurking toward the end of next week. So winter is here, putting lots of smiles on a lot of faces. Uh, Mammoth Mountain Ski Area is open from 8.30 until 4. All lifts expected to operate, except for chair 7, 9, 22, and 25. It's still pretty low tide though, only a 30 inch base at the main lodge and 42 inches at the top. Uh, if you're comparing Comparing it to last year, there is no comparison, whereas last year we had maybe eight, eight feet of snow or so by now. Anyway, so be aware if you're out there skiing, but it's pretty good conditions. Uh, Woolies Tube Park is open and the new coaster is open too. And June is open with a couple of runs uh, and a great view over there. Uh, the Antler Bar, of course, is open over at June. Tamarack still not open yet. They were trying to pack some snow yesterday, but we still need at least one, maybe two more storms before there's any groomed trails up in the Mammoth Lakes Basin. But the ice rink is open now in town. Check the uh, town website or the local newspapers for open skate times. 1914 on this day, Ford raised the minimum wage to $5 a day for an eight hour day. What is it now, about 20 to 25 an hour? Um, for uh, 20, 20 to 25 an hour. He raised the rate to $5 a day for an eight hour day. 1940, the first demonstration of FM radio and the soap opera, All My Children, uh, premiered on this day in 1970. It's Robert Duvall's birthday, uh, Diane Keaton's birthday and Marilyn Manson. Also climber guy, Marty Lewis down in the Owens Valley. Happy birthday, Marty. Bobby Lykin, where did you take off to, Bobby? Happy birthday. Uh, Bridget Connor's birthday. 
Keith Kyle Kim's birthday. Uh, married to Jeff, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, the musician guy. Happy birthday, Kim. Uh, Marissa McDonald's birthday. Ellie Devitin, is that, is that, I always mix up your, how to pronounce your last name, but happy birthday, Ellie. Rick Peterson, my friend, back in Minnesota from high school and college days, and El Emily Tolitson's birthday. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. It is a beautiful day. Get ready for some more snow and make today the best day ever. And we're on the brink of another storm.